In this edition, we're talking to the president and CEO of Rotana, Salim al -Sier. So, welcome to AME Info. And Thank you. The hotel group, homegrown in the Middle East, the biggest, going through a lot of expansion. But before we look at that, let's reflect back to when you started Rotana. Mm -hmm. uh, Rotana started in 1992. Uh, at that time, the chairman of the company and myself decided that it was time to have a company that can deal with owners on a different level because global companies were not anymore delivering to the promise. Owners uh, brought in uh, global companies in order to, to, uh, to secure a, a minimum uh, success and profitability, and that was in question at that time. Because of the tremendous growth these companies had in, in, uh, in the last, uh, 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 in 10 years or 15 years, some companies had from 50 hotels to 500 hotels. Yeah, yeah. So support was not there. Okay. And that's when we, why so. we said there is a niche and we need it. Support was lacking. Also, you have the local knowledge of the market, which exactly. perhaps some of these international groups would not have to the same extent. That's true. And I suppose that's very important. That's true. We understand the language. We understand the culture. So, from 1992 to where we are now, in 2009, you have, what, 25, 26 properties? We have 26 operating properties. We have 12 properties that are opening now, between now and uh, uh, October. Yeah. That will take us to 38, and we have another 29 properties that are in different phases of construction. That gives us a total of 67 properties altogether. Huge expansion over the next few years. So, when will those come on stream? You know, bring you up to the uh, 60s. By 2012, the 67 will be will be on stream. But my, uh, mind you that between now and 2012, we are signing an average of 15 properties per year. So by 2012, we would be talking not anymore about 67, we would be talking probably uh, around 200. Right. Uh, 200. 100, I beg your pardon, 100. 100, yeah. So has there been a change in strategy? Because everyone's talking about the global economic situation. Have you had to modify your plans? Obviously, obviously. I mean, there, are, there are some projects that are going to be delayed. There are some, uh, some research uh, that is going to uh, take place, but yeah. at, at a different pace. And uh, we had to weather with, with, with what's going on. I mean, you just cannot ignore it. So adjustments there, but what about the important part, hotel occupancy? Uh, uh, in certain areas, it is improved. Yeah. <clears throat> like uh, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Egypt, there is yeah. an improvement. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the Gulf, there is, there is definitely a decrease. But this decrease is marginal. I mean, Dubai, for example, the, the largest market, has decreased only by 10%, and that is insignificant yeah. in comparison to, to what is happening in, uh, in the US, and UK, in the UK, in Europe. Well, it's challenging times, not only in terms of economics, but also uh, swine, flu, and also the summer months where there is generally a downturn. So yeah. you're probably looking forward to, to, the, to the latter part of the year for We're looking forward years. to to, uh, to September. Yeah. But, uh, but in, we have so, some markets where it's going to be fantastic in summer. You know, we have got uh, Lebanon, we have got Syria, there is uh, Egypt. Uh, these are uh, the, the high season months. And Lebanon is really bouncing back now, isn't it? It's bouncing back, it's bouncing back. But unfortunately, Lebanon has not been consistent. You know, it bounces back from 100 to, to, to 20%. But hopefully now uh, the, the political situation is going to be more stable and uh, we can continue. OK, Salim, let's talk now about the brands which you have within Rotana because that's evolved. And just looking behind us, you know, you've got four different brands now. So let's go through them one by one. Um, a new introduction, one which might be popular at these economically challenged times, is the, the budget or the lower uh, price brand yeah. which you've got. Yeah. Centro? Centro, yeah. Uh, you know, we started <clears throat> like every company and uh, we had one brand. But along the years, we, we discovered that it was time now to, to define uh, uh, and put the minds of people at rest. So we decided that we will keep the five-star uh, brand, five- and four-star hotels and resorts. We will keep them as Rotana Hotels and Resorts. We had uh, a, 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 a collection of, of hotel apartments that were called initially Rotana Suites. 
we said no, we are going to distance them a little bit from Rotana. They are going to be called Arjan Suites, uh, Arjan Hotel Apartments by Rotana. Yeah. The name Rotana was, was, was essential in order to, to, uh, to give the, uh, the consumer or the user you know, the, the credibility of, sure. of a company. Uh, then we, we started a new brand called uh, Rehan by Rotana that is alcohol free. Yeah. That is for countries where alcohol is not allowed or even for countries like Dubai or Lebanon where an owner uh, does not want to serve alcohol in his property. Many families want to go to a hotel where there is no alcohol. Sure. Uh, plus, of course, we started uh, three years ago the uh, Centro by Rotana brand. This is the budget hotel brand. Yeah, yeah. Mind you that we started this brand way before there was a crisis. We started this brand when, when, when rates were hitting the roof, when sure. we were doing tremendous occupancy and, and uh, 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 average rates. So Centro, I mean, that, as you say, you started planning that some time back. So is that really geared towards perhaps the business traveller on a, on a restricted budget? No, not really a restricted budget. It's, it's for the business traveller who, who likes uh, five-star hotels but yeah. cannot afford them. Sure. So the economy really is in the size rather than the fabric and the color scheme. Yeah, okay. And uh, this is going to be a, a designer budget hotel. You know, all budget hotels that exist today on the market are uh, uh, cookie cutter uh, products. Yeah. Uh, laminate sure. tops, uh, very, very plain, uh, yeah. cold, unfriendly yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, state. So it's going to be a nice design element. You this say. is going to be a designer's budget hotel. And when you think about it, you look at events like Arabian Travel Market, big events like this, people coming here from outside need a hotel to stay, but they're spending most of the day at the show. Exactly. They're only going somewhere to sleep perhaps, so exactly. obviously a big niche there. There is a niche, there is a segment uh, of the market where all they want is uh, go to the room to sleep. Yeah. And all the rest of the day they are on business, they yeah. are on the road, they are so why pay exorbitant uh, uh, rates? Now, I'm not preaching that uh, everybody should go to budget hotels, no. But there is, there is a, a good segment of the market that needs yeah, sure. uh, this, uh, this category of hotels. And that's not only in the Gulf, that's all over the world. Indeed, interesting developments there. Very nice talking with you. And we'll finish off on what was, must have been an exciting time at the recently held World Travel Awards Middle East edition where you had a huge bouquet, I think it's seven awards, so yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. very pleasing for you and your staff. We are very proud to have been uh, recognized. You know, our, our vision is to be the best brand in the Middle East. And we are, we are, we are, we are slowly reaching there. The best brand does not mean, the, uh, does not mean uh, only in the five-star market. In every category of our hotels, we are proud to serve and to achieve higher uh, recognition from our people. Sure. Thank you very much. Shukran. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And on this edition of Face to Face, we've been talking to the CEO and President of Rotana, Mr. Salim El-Siyar.